How you going? I was watching a YouTube today and I learned something really interesting. Mm -hmm. It's something that I have known, but I've picked up on it and it's uh, hit me like a clap of thunder. Uh, the fact of uh, somebody quoted somebody who's really, um, really um, up there on his YouTube blogs, uh, Neil Stad or Niall Stad or something like that, and they said when he started, he said, I am going to make a movie every day. I am going to make a movie every day. Now, a movie is not a vlog, and it's another thing that this chap pointed out, that if you just have a camera following you around during a, one of your days, walking up the street, say, oh, look, there's some chook cooking, oh, look, there's a dog fighting, oh, look, there's a whatever. It's going to be very boring. People will not follow that unless they personally know you, unless you are a personality that they um, know they might follow it. But you won't get the big numbers. You've got to tell a story. You've got to have a hook at the start of a story. My name is Ishmael, I think, would be one. But um, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. You've got to have a hook to get people interested. Then you let them swallow the hook. So you've got to have a start, a middle, building to a climax, and then a finish. And that seems to be a pretty basic recipe to have a story. I realise this watching some other vloggers, they just have the camera following them around during their morning and uh, a day on the farm type thing. Um, and there's not really a story, but some of them have managed to develop stories because they start on projects like we're building a shed. Graham and Pye are really good at this. I used to watch Graham and Pye a lot before old Graham passed away, it was enormously sad. But um, they had a story, they were building a fish pond, they were stocking it with fish, they were selling the fish. Each episode had a couple of little stories in it which progressed to the next episode. And you wanted to watch it and say, oh, I wonder what, he's, wonder what happened with those, uh, uh, what did you buy, frogs or turtles or something once? They are going to grow. And anyway, in the end, he let them all go because he just felt like doing that. Um, so that's a story. People building a shed, people are going to build a house, people are going to buy some fish and grow them up, people are going to put in a hydroponic garden and things like that. That's a story. Um, and a story consists of uh, aims, problems on the road, and resolutions of those problems. Aims like setting off on a journey. Where you want to go, why you want to go, why you have to go would be a good one. Then you go on a journey and you have your adventures on a journey and then you arrive somewhere safe somewhere where you wanted to get to, and it's a happy ending. That's a story. Um, so I've got to work on making stories, not having someone follow me around during the day. Because all I'd say is be sitting in front of a computer editing videos. <laughs> OK. I've got to head back now. So yeah, head back to my house. I'm down at the Wat Po. Wat Po. What? I know for Temple and uh, in Bangkar. There is a Wat Po in Bangkok too, but this is the Wat Po at Bangkar, which is about an hour east of Bangkok on the Bang Bakong River. I hope I've got that right. Okay, see you.